Rows of empty seats face out onto a silent stage. The doors closed at York Theatre Royal in March and they've lost nearly three quarters of a million pounds in that time. The staff here have all been furloughed, but today lighting technician Mike was back at the venue, his job to illuminate the building in red. It's part of a nationwide campaign to highlight to the government how much the live events industry has been suffering during the pandemic. For Executive Director Tom Bird, it's a terribly worrying time. This theatre has been through the Napoleonic Wars, the Spanish flu, the Second, the Second World War. You know, it is loved by the community. We've had um, over £130,000 in donations and credit since, since um, the Covid crisis happened and you know, p uh, the people of York um, adore this theatre and, and that's what gives us hope. York Theatre Royal isn't alone in its Covid crisis. The Crucible and Lyceum in Sheffield have lost £960,000. The Lawrence Batley in Huddersfield, £170,000. Last night, the government announced a financial lifeline of £1.57 billion. The emergency cash in grants and loans will go towards keeping live venues afloat, but they're not out of the woods just yet. We are down um, around £650,000 in terms of income since the crisis hit and of course that, that doesn't stop today, that's still going on and you know if we get to Christmas then for all theatres you know Christmas season's a massive deal. There are sadly there are kind of more losses to come before, before we can reopen and that's, that's why we need this investment in the sector now. People love live theatre music and comedy because of that physical relationship, that chemistry there is between the performer here and the audience. But of course, that's also a big sticking point when we're obeying social distancing. But industry leaders have asked why it's OK for people to sit together on trains, aeroplanes and buses and not here in the theatre. Such a lack of certainty about when they might reopen is a major problem for the region's live venues. There are thousands of people waiting in the wings. Tabs coming in. Hopeful this government money will help support them while the curtains remain down. Charlotte Leeming, BBC Look North, York.